In this video, we're going to talk about the register nav menu function and WP nav menu function of WordPress. So we'll start with the first function, which is register nav menu function. So if you look at codex, we can see that this function registers registers a single custom navigation menu in the custom menu editor. This allows administration users to create custom menus for use in the theme. So what we're talking about is uh, if you go to backend and if you go to appearance section, you will have a, a menu section over here if you use the register nav menus function. Okay. Uh, currently WordPress doesn't provide us with the menu option already to create our menus for our theme. Uh, however, we can do that using this function. So this function accepts two parameters. One is location and second is description. Both functions are required. Location is basically the menu location identifier like a slug. And description is the menu description for identifying the menu in the dashboard. Uh, these two parameters will be very clear to you in a moment as we proceed with the tutorial. Okay. So what they're saying is that go ahead and use this register nav menu function and pass the first parameter as the location which is primary and the second parameter as the description which uh, they are going to use the translate function and uh, passing the primary menu and then the theme slug okay uh, and they are use they are calling this function inside of a custom function register my menu and then using add action after theme setup hook uh, after setup theme hook to call the custom function so we're going to do something similar sort of this okay so we'll go on to our functions.php and i already have my um, custom function but I have named it as Cornova setup instead of register my menu okay because inside of this function I've got a lot of other things going on like adding theme support uh, for different features adding different features like title thumbnail you know post formats etc uh, there are different videos that I've created for these functions as well you can check it out but for now what we are interested in the register nav menu function so we're going to go ahead and call this function over here, uh, register nav menus function. And you can see that our custom function is hooked onto this hook, which is after setup theme, which is the same that they're using as well. The only difference is that their name of the custom function is different than ours. This is register my menu and ours is corner of setup. So inside of this function, corner of setup, we have got different things going on. And of course, whenever this function is called, when the script reaches at this point after the theme is set up, um, after this hook is uh, called, this particular function will be called, which in, in turn will call our register nav menus function. Now we are passing a parameter into it, which is an array. Okay, and the first item in the array is the uh, key as the primary. And then the we're using the escape HTML function to pass the other two parameter, which is primary menu, uh, and we're putting theme slug as Cornova. Okay. Now you must be wondering that you know it accepts two parameters, location and description. Then why is it that we have passed a single parameter array? So if you scroll down, you can see that. Uh, this function automatically registers custom menu support for the theme therefore you do not need to call the add theme support menus uh, and then it says this function actually works by simply calling register nav menu in the following way okay so I will explain the first part but since we are discussing the uh, two parameters so let's go ahead and discuss that so you do have an option uh, you know to call this function by passing only one parameter as an array and you know the key will be the location and the uh, value will be the description so our location uh, parameter we are passing it as primary and the description we are passing it as a primary menu and the theme slug or the domain okay and we are you know calling the escape HTML function to escape the HTML as well as translate it okay so after defining this function now if we come back over here and refresh the page sure enough if you go and see in appearance we have menu and now we can go ahead and add our new menu over here 
I've already created uh, previously uh, hence the previous menu shows over here otherwise you can go ahead and click on create a new menu you know you can add a menu name let's say I name it as new menu create menu and I can go ahead and add all of these pages one two three let's say I want to add four pages add to the menu okay and I've got all of this menu over here okay now we can save it okay you will also notice that we have the manage location over here which we can use to select whichever menu we want this is the new menu that I've just created this is the previous one I had created before creating this video um, also I wanted to explain to you about what it talks about the first uh, line over here this function automatically registers custom menu support for theme therefore you do not need to call add theme support menus so add theme support function basically uh, registers the you know theme support for the theme uh, with different uh, features uh, so if we were not to use this function if we comment out this function and just call add theme support function <coughs> and we pass the key as menus there is a different video form the add theme support function you can check it out so I'm not gonna go and get into the detail of it so if I call this function you will notice that this is also adding the menu over here let's say if I comment it out add theme support function menus it's gone okay however if I go ahead and call this function add theme support and pass the parameter as menus you will notice that we are getting the same option so this is basically looks like doing the job of register now menus okay uh, it is doing that the only difference is that uh, you will not have the option over here to register or you know edit the menus basically uh, you had some you know option a tab like uh, register sorry manage menus I think there was some tab like this over here so if I'm going to use this function at theme support menus it is going to give me an option to you know create and edit the menus over here but I'll have to if I had to you know manage the menu I'll have to click on the manage with live preview and you know go on to the menu and select the menus over here okay however if I were to use the register now menu function instead of using the add theme support function then if you just notice over here what happens if I refresh the page I'll have the manage locations right here and I can go ahead and just select whichever menu I want and save the changes so that's the difference okay so that's that's what codex is saying it's saying that you know uh, this functionality automatically registered custom menu support for the theme therefore you do not need to call the add theme support menus so, okay so you don't have to use this function if you're using this function register name menus okay you can do that uh, you can achieve that by using either of these functions the only difference that you won't get the manage uh, manage menu manage locations uh, option tab over here if you use the add theme support function okay now I don't want to make this video too long so I'll just get on to how do we get this on the front end okay so as you can see that we have got all the options over here for the menu structure to create that to select whichever menu we want but we don't yet have that on the front end so how do we get it on the front end that is where our second function will you know do the job so this function is basically for our front end this displays the navigation menu that you have set up in the menu section okay so these functions go hand in hand you know the register nav menu registers the menu okay and the uh, WP nav menu displays the menu in the front end. So one is for back end and the other one is for front end. Okay, uh, if you're not going to declare both functions, then it's going to create problem and it won't work. So you have to, you know, ensure that both of these functions are called. You need to call the register nav menu function inside of the functions.php and you know inside of your custom function and then use the add action after theme setup hook to call. Uh, after setup theme hook to call the custom function uh, where you have defined this register name menu okay so let's go on to our header.php because I want to go ahead and uh, display my navigation menu inside of my header so which is inside of the body tag 
because I'm into my header.php of my theme. And over here, <coughs> I'm going to define the WP NAM menu function. That's what we're looking for. And what does it accept? It accepts the uh, arguments as an array. Okay, and we have got different parameters we can pass. Okay, for example, container. If you pass whether to wrap the UL and what to wrap with it, default is div. So I'm just going to show you what all options I have taken. I have not taken all the options from here. You can choose depending on what you want to show. However, I have only chosen these options. The first parameter is the theme location. So theme location, let's see, what does it do? Theme location to be used must be registered with the register NAM menu in order to be selectable by user. So what this is saying is that this theme location should be the same name uh, which was under the location parameter under the location parameter while defining the register NAM menus in your functions.php. So let's go back and check. So this is our location uh, argument, uh, location parameter that we had passed and the name is primary and it should be the same name uh, inside of the uh, value for the property theme location as you can really rightly see that primary is the same name which is defined as the uh, parameter for the register name menu as well for location okay so this is the theme location and that's primary is what we will be able to select when we go over here um, let's see you can see this primary okay cool so let's move further <clears throat> so then you have menu ID so what is this menu ID let's see ID that is applied to the UL element which forms the menu okay so let's refresh the page and sure enough we can see that we've got a menu over here and this ID is what we're talking about what will be applied to the UL element okay what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to use this container property first and I'm going to give it a value of let's see font false if, what if I put it as false So notice right now you have a div wrapped inside of the uh, menu, right? So if the, if you don't pass anything in the container, default is div. But if you do, let's say I pass false, let's see what happens. Uh, not, not false actually, a moment. So it's not actually false, it is, it's giving an option that whether to wrap UL and what to wrap with it. So inside out of uh, what to wrap the uh, menu. Okay. So I'm passing container as UL. So wrap it with the UL. So if you check now, it is wrapped with the UL. If you don't pass anything in the container, if you just lay, comment it out, notice what happens over here. So instead of being wrapped inside of you, just UL, you will have a div in, inside of that. Okay. So let's see. You can see there is a div now, okay? And the class and the ID is primary menu and primary menu menu. These classes and ID, which is coming from the menu ID and menu class, has been applied to the div instead of the UL. But if I go ahead and define the container as UL, then you will notice that the div will be gone. And now you have the UL having the ID of primary menu and class of primary menu menu. Okay, so that's what this container uh, property does, and that's what this is saying over here. That by default it's div. Otherwise, you you tell it what to wrap it with. Okay, whether to UL or you know whatever you want to wrap it with, whatever element. Okay, so you have got menu ID, uh, which is the menu for the container. Okay, and then menu class, which is menu class for the container. We've already discussed that uh, right here. Primary menu and primary menu menu. Okay, and then depth, how lo how much depth should be, so three, let's say, okay. And then this all li element is generated inside of you, if you have the a element, and you know, there's the link that takes you to that particular page, okay. So all of this is coming from the 
uh, WP NAM menu function. Okay, and you can check out other parameters as well, and you know select which you want to use for your theme. Okay, and you over here you can select whichever menu you want. So currently I'm selected primary. If you want to select new menu, save the changes, go back, refresh the page, and sure enough you are getting the new menu. And in new menu, if you remember, we only had these four sections, uh, which is in these four pages, and that's what is being displayed over here. If I change the hierarchy, just put it like this, save it. So you can see that it's just shifted here, right? You've got the hierarchy. And you can also select the display location of primary menu over here. Okay, so all of these things can be done. You can manage the location, whichever menu you want to select. If it's primary, it will change over here as well. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much uh, it. I am sorry the video has become too long. Just wanted to you know, explain in detail about how it works. And I hope it is very clear to you that the WP, uh, sorry, uh, the digital name menus is responsible for giving you the creating the option for menus so that you can edit it and manage it. And WP NAM menu function is responsible for displaying that onto the front end of your site. Okay. All right. If you like the video, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please share my video. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.